Om Namah Shivaya. In this video, I will be talking about what is the importance and significance of Hanuman Chalisa and how this can uh, improve the quality of your life if you recite it regularly. To start with, let's talk about who created this. Hanuman Chalisa was written by Goswami Tulsidas during the 16th century and he was a renowned saint who was famous for his compositions on Ram and Hanuman. Some of his uh, most popular works are Ram Charitmanas, which was a consolidation of uh, different stories of Ram. And he had also created several tests on Hanuman, the most popular of which is Hanuman Chalisa. Now let's come to why did Tulsidas compose Hanuman Chalisa? There is a very interesting story behind this. Tulsidas used to live in the kingdom of the Mughal emperor Akbar and he used to spend all his time uh, in devotional sermons in the praise of Ram and Hanuman and slowly he started getting more and more popular and people from even far off areas started to travel to come and attend his sermons. This created jealousy in one of his neighbors who was a courtier in Akbar's palace and uh, he decided to somehow malign the image of Tulsidas. So the next day he went and complained to Akbar that uh, Tulsidas has been singing devotional praises for a monkey and he has been brainwashing uh, the entire village with his uh, thinking about praising this monkey and people are doing the same. Uh, this really made Akbar upset and he was like, I really don't understand why somebody would worship a monkey and bring this person to my court tomorrow. So next day, Tulsidas was brought to Akbar's court and there Akbar asked him that, is it true that you have been worshiping a monkey and asking other people to join you in that? Then uh, Tulsidas confirmed that yes, he was a devout follower of Hanuman and he had been holding sermons regularly in praise of Hanuman. And a lot of his neighbors and other people from the neighboring areas had been joining in these sermons. And uh, now Akbar got really upset and he said that I will not tolerate a monkey being worshipped in my kingdom. And you have two choices. Either you stop singing all these devotional prayers for Hanuman or uh, I will put you in jail. To this Tulsidas replied that under no condition will I stop singing praises for Hanuman, who's my, uh, who's, uh, I'm permanently indebted to for all his blessings. So I don't mind going to jail or receiving any punishment for that. So uh, Akbar got very anger, angry and he asked his guards to put uh, Tulsidas in jail. And he informed them that he should be put in jail till he decides to stop singing devotional praises of Hanuman. Then uh, as his days passed on, Tulsidas uh, started creating new verses in devotion of Hanuman based on the stories he had read about it. And slowly, within a couple of weeks, he had a new composition ready with about 40 lines. And as soon as he completed singing this uh, composition with 40 lines, which is now being called as Hanuman Chalisa because of the 40 lines in praise of Hanuman, which are there, suddenly Hanuman appeared in front of him. And uh, Hanuman said to Tulsidas that I'm really pleased with your devotion and uh, don't worry, I will get you out of this bondage uh, from this jail. And the next morning, Akbar woke up, there was a lot of commotion all over the palace. There were people shouting and there was utter chaos. And then he slowly realized that there were more than thousand monkeys who had uh, arrived at the palace and they were harassing all the workers and the guards. They were stealing the food. They were breaking the household items and they were very quick. So the guards and the soldiers were not able to catch them and they were totally helpless against them. And when he proceeded to his courtroom, he also find that all his courtiers were being chased around by the monkeys and all his soldiers were not able to control the situation. Slowly, Akbar realized that this was not an ordinary coincidence and this must have something to do with Hanuman and the reason that he had imprisoned Tulsidas. So he immediately called his guard and asked him to free Tulsidas from the prison and 
bring him uh, face to face with him. So once the guard got Tulsidas out of the prison and brought him to Akbar's court, the monkeys suddenly disappeared as quickly as they had arrived in the palace. And then Akbar realized that uh, this was uh, no ordinary monkey which Tulsidas had been praising and he actually had some divine powers. He apologized to Tulsidas saying that he did not realize these powers and he was sorry for his behavior and he declared that from that day Tulsidas would be free to continue his devotional sermons in the praise of Hanuman and Ram and anyone in his kingdom was free to join him. Now let's go to which are the main benefits which are attributed to reciting of Hanuman Chalisa. The reason why this is so popular in India and why millions of people chant it regularly and some do it daily is that it is supposed to bring two key benefits. First is it's supposed to overcome all obstacles and problems in your life. As Hanuman is referred to as Sankat Mochan, which literally means remover of all troubles, his followers have the firm belief that if they chant regularly the Hanuman Chalisa, any physical, mental or financial challenge they are being faced with, they will just disappear and Hanuman will free them from all these problems. The other reason why so many people chanted regularly is that it's supposed to be the remover of fears. It said that if you are scared, or worried, it could be due to a ghost or spirit or some negative energy, or you might be afraid for some unknown reason which you're not able to understand. Then it said that if you chant Hanuman Chalisa, then it will calm you and make you feel very relaxed. And also if you are feeling troubled, if you cannot explain any ghostly or unearthly presence, it is supposed to clear that off as well. There are several reasons why Hanuman Chalisa is supposed to be so effective in these kind of things. First reason is that uh, it's widely believed that all these ghosts and negative energies gain their strength from any weakness in character or negative thoughts which a person might have. And Hanuman is supposed to be a very pure soul. He's the eternal bachelor or Bal Brahmachari and he's free from any negative traits. That's why no ghosts or negative spirits can uh, stay in vicinity of Hanuman. And another reason is Hanuman is supposed to be an incarnation of Lord Shiva, who is the controller or Swami of all these ghosts and spirits. So they cannot stay against the incarnation of uh, this uh, God. And I would like to end this video here. Feel free to let me know in the comments how has been your experience or any personal incidents which you would like to share with uh, me regarding Hanuman Chalisa. Thank you.